Hi, I'm Brad with Double D Trailers. Thanks for sharing your time with us. So today we're going to be looking at a safe tack with the Rawhide EX package. It's a 10 foot short wall. You're going to really love the features that we designed. Now keep in mind this is a custom build trailer. Custom build uh, means that you get to order uh, as a client what you want, right? So the, the attention to detail or rather the color selections inside of this coach uh, were designed by the owner of the trailer. So if you don't like the colors of the cabinetry or the flooring uh, or the walls or things like that, it's only colors, okay? But not to mention, uh, we do custom build to order so we can design and build anything that you would like. So let's get started. I'm, again, I'm really excited. Trailer comes standard with the front wardrobe. Um, our client did ask to have mirrors uh, installed here. We can do a wooden panel or a mirror and a cool place in the front. Everything's nice and finished uh, on the inside there, which I really like. Let's see if we can find a switch. Yeah. So we did some cool LEDs inside of this unit. One on this side, one on that side. Uh, lots of lighting is if you'll pan and get the various types of light through here, but well lit throughout. I just love the lights recessed inside of this trailer. But of course, day and night, or nightshades rather, are standard. This is an emergency egress escape window. Uh, if you want to let light through, you would just raise the window up for day. And then of course at nighttime, just close that down so that uh, folks can't see you from the outside. Well, the guys did an excellent job. I should say guys and gals on our team. We have a lot of folks. Uh, just look at the detail on this balance. The trim work with the wood is absolutely amazing. This is all hardwood. In other words, real wood. A majority of manufacturers, if you get more of the cabinets there, a majority of the manufacturers use uh, what's called a vinyl wrap cabinet. And vinyl wrap, um, uh, it, it's not real wood, okay? And it's less expensive to manufacture. This is actually hard wood. And then it's uh, stained with a high gloss finish. And you can see the crown molding and the woodwork is just absolutely beautiful all the way around this trailer. Uh, I just stand and, and I keep looking and I smile every time as I look around and I'm like, wow, guys just did a really good job on this. So I think uh, you, you would definitely be pleased with the cabinetry and of course everything again is all finished nice and neat on the inside, trimmed and detailed as it should be. Now, our client did order on this particular trailer uh, a raised panel cabinet door as opposed to a panel door. Now, a panel door would be flat, and of course the raised panel gives you a nice uh, decor, decor around it, just a little bit more definition. Same thing on the refrigerator, we'll show that uh, just a little bit later. I want to jump right back up. I love these steps. It's really easy to get in and out of the bed. And the shelf, you can see I've already started camping out. I threw my cell phone here. I've got my bottle of water, mm -hmm. which I'm going to have some because it's stuffy in here. Now, our, our, uh, the owner of this trailer asked to have a fan installed. And I'm just going to be lazy. This is a really cool fan. They're a little bit pricey. But I love these things because you press the, let's see if I press the up button, it just raises automatically with a remote control. How cool is that? And then you can just turn it on. It's bi-directional, which means it'll either blow air in or pull air out. Uh, it's variable speed. You can uh, turn it higher or lower. It's also thermostat control, so you set the temperature that you're looking for. And on a nice, pleasant day, actually like it is today, we should be using this. You could raise the windows. The windows are covered with a screen. Put the air pulling out and really get some nice airflow coming through. Now, I'm television. Run. Uh, this is just a flat screen TV. It's a Samsung. We use various brands, but 
Uh, I generally will mount these on some sort of a swivel arm. So you could see this from the bed area or you could see it from the sofa area if you're sitting down. I think we did an outside roof antenna if memory serves me correctly. And of course this has the stereo system with the DVD player. Um, it's actually Bluetooth, radio, inside, outside speakers. It's a really cool setup. So there's a speaker behind our camera and another speaker up front here. Now as you walk in the trailer, and of course this is just one layout, okay? We can design any layout in the space. Some folks prefer to have the sofa across the front, some down the long wall, dinettes are available, uh, tables. In fact, I kept this table out just for demonstration. In the past we used removable pedestal tables which had a hole in the floor. And I told the guys, I said, that's super annoying. I don't like having these holes. So we just designed this nice little folding table. And how cool is that? Yeah? The only thing missing is my, my drink and my food, but it works well. You can move it around and uh, it doesn't damage your floor by having to put a hole in there. And of course, once you're finished with it, you would just fold the legs up and store it either probably under the sofa or in this uh, nice uh, wardrobe closet there in the front. I'm just going to throw it up on the bed here for now. Get it back out of the way. I didn't mention while I was up in the bed area, um, you have the option of a ducted roof air. So the standard unit would blow air directly out of the air conditioner onto the bed area. I'm not a huge fan of those simply because uh, you have air blowing on you all the time and to me it just kind of stops me up. So I like the ducted. Uh, we actually have about a three or four inch space on top of this. That's why the ceiling is flat. And then all the duct, the UCT duct work uh, runs throughout the trailer over the ceiling and it blows nice and cool through these vents. So it's uh, uh, very easy on you as a user where you're trying to sleep and it's comfortable and the unit cuts on and off by thermostat as it should. We went ahead and trimmed this one out. I think this is an option on this trailer, but uh, I went ahead and trimmed that out nice and neat with some woodwork for this client. Uh, just, uh, just as an added The walls this. in this, we could do a vinyl wall or a soft touch. This is a soft touch. And I'm not sure if you could pick that up on the camera, but it actually does. It's soft to the touch. And you can see the indentation a little bit around this receptacle, so it's not hard actually has a foam backing behind it. So it really gives it some nice uh, character. It's easy to clean. You can wipe it right off. We did the same thing on the ceiling. This is a soft touch ceiling and then of course a nice material up top. Sort of like a hide if you will. And you could select whatever colors that you're looking for to match on the wall uh, and the balances and things like that. We went ahead and did these uh, really cool pillows uh, again with the hide on this fold-out sleeper sofa. Flop it out if you and your wife or significant other are camping together and one of you guys gets thrown in the doghouse, which would be the sofa house, you'd end up sleeping here. But I think, let's measure this, I'm 5'10". Yeah, we'd be okay here. So we do have space. I try to make it long enough that an adult can comfortably stretch out. We threw a light switch on this one just to give some nice light there. A customer requested a, a charging station just for a cell phone so as you sit you could charge up your phone, uh, plug in a USB or what have you. Some of the things that you'll see in the ceiling I didn't mention, we don't have to pan back up there but that's just the uh, either CO2 detector down low or LP gas and probably and smoke up top and of course all the safety stuff. Flip up counter extension. Um, our customer asked for this. I like that. If we move over to the kitchen area now, gives you some, uh, you know, extra space.
these uh, folks tend to struggle with, like how do you fold it back down? It's very easy. Pull up and just bump it with your hand. So lift, it locks, lift again, bump, bump, and it goes back down. Sort of have to manhandle slash woman handle, if you will. I love the double sink. There's enough space in a 10 foot short wall to get a double in there, so we did that. Uh, a lot of clients would choose the stainless. This one is the black uh, porcelain, nice high rise faucet there. And of course we use different styles of faucets and what have you, depending on what's available at the time, but uh, really nice looking stuff. And again, everything is trimmed out with solid wood as it should be. Um, just a, a standard RV style microwave, nothing to get excited about. They do a great job, cause very few problems. Of course, the two burner cooktop. Um, and to ignite those, the only thing you would have to do is flip up your lid, turn on the gas, and then apply some sort of uh, flame, a, a lighter or um, match or something. So we tried to maintain as much storage space as possible. Of course, storage is a premium in these small compact areas. Again, this is an eight wide. So we have you know, one, two, three, three and a half feet of aisleway in here. If it were a seven wide, it'd be a foot and a half more narrow. And regarding the cabinet space though, as I was mentioning, uh, this one we added a lip to it. So you know, bottles or, or cleaner or what have you wouldn't roll out or slide off of that edge. And then again, we try to leave everything as open as possible, at least when it comes to service, to getting to your hot water heater, dump valves and things like that. Now, we did go ahead and add some drawers in this particular unit. Again, uh, all solid wood, nice and finished. Remote to the television, which I like. And those drawers just are self-closing there, which is, I like that too. Really cool stuff. All right, um, refridge. Generally, we can do a three foot cubic, and the three foot would be the small ones that normally fit underneath the cooktop. In this particular layout, we had enough space. You could do a three cubic behind me with a huge closet here, or as you notice, we did the drawers in this trailer and eliminated the large closet and went with uh, the larger refrigerator. So basically we put the refrigerator in place of the closet. We can do all sorts of stuff. That's why it's called custom building. And again, our, our customer requested, um, she wanted the refrigerator to match all of the other cabinetry. So we did that because everything is built by hand and it's all solid wood. We just made some panels to fit inside of this fridge, which is awesome. This is an RV style refrigerator. It's manufactured by, I believe this one is a Dometic. Uh, Norcold would be another brand, but those are the top two. And generally they'll operate off of uh, gas or electric. And most of the time it'll have the automatic detect on it. This one does as well. And I love these refrigerators. They, they just don't give a lot of problems and super easy to use. This is just an access panel to your furnace for service if you needed to do that. <laughs> I love gadgets. So you just press the button on this one to raise it up and press the button to pull it back down there. I'm going to leave it on just to get some airflow. It's a little okay, stuck take a look, here. Look at the bathroom on this one. So normally the slant wall would run as a the same angle. This particular trailer, our client wanted to haul a Harley in the front stall, so we did a really funky uh, angled wall that comes across and turns around. We'll look at that a little bit more. So we ended up having to do a barrel-shaped shower in place of the corner shower. Again, part of the custom building process, which means you get what you want, but it turned out really nice. So the shower, you know, I'm 5'10", 160 pounds, decent amount of space in here. Close these doors off. Yeah, served the purpose well. Uh, nice quality fixtures in here. Plenty of space to step out, even with the pocket door closed. Hey, we got a mirror on there. How cool is that? 
didn't even know that. So uh, even with the pocket door closed, lots of space. So the color of the sink, we generally do the stainless. Your laminate for the countertop. And of course, a medicine cabinet here, all finished out nice and neat. And we went ahead and threw a mirror on that. Turn that off. And a wonderful toilet, which we all like. Good amount of space for a living quarter bathroom. It's probably hard to see on the camera, but you know, we've got two people in this bathroom right now, and uh, even if you sit down on the toilet, not to be graphic, point being, there's a good amount of space in here. I like the layout, okay? Enough room to walk around, so it's just not. So, I've seen some of these layouts, guys, where they're just so cramped, you, have, you just can't get to anything. And this one I like. Um, yeah, good enough to reach over, brush the teeth, things of that nature, and some decent amount of storage as well.